Okay, let's have a look at installing Joomla. In this case, uh, Joomla 3.8.2, which at the moment, you know, November 2017 is the latest version. Okay, th this is the first screen. You, you pick a language. You give your site a name. You can change that later. A description of the website, again, something you can change later. Super user account details. So you enter your own uh, email address, and if the system wants to let you know about anything, it will send you an email. You set up a username. This doesn't have to be the same as your FTP or as your database username. It's whatever you want to, whatever you want it to be, and. Um, yeah, you think of a password. If you click site offline, yes, and then the site will be offline. You, know, you might, under some circumstances, want to make the <coughs> page look really good first because before your visitors can see it. But in our case, it doesn't matter if people can already see the unfinished uh, product. Okay, now you, you decide how you talk to the database. And in our case, a local host, uh, that's what you enter if the database is on the same server as um, the, the web server. But in our case, it's a different machine. So in our case, the host name is bt3023 db.bimserver2.com. Then you will have been given a username, usually your normal username followed by db. For me, it's a bit different. So, in, but if, for example, if your name is Arthur Dent, then your username would be a dent db probably. Okay, database name. Uh, that should be the same as your username. And table prefix. This is randomly generated. Uh, you could spell out a specific name. So the idea here is that if you have more than one Joomla installed on your web server, and they all need different tables, let's say they all need a user table, because you've got a different table prefix, those different user tables, those different article tables for your different Joomla installations, they don't interfere with each other. So uh, if, if you've got something in mind, let's say uh, your CMS is about selling cakes, you, know, you could call it cake underscore. And if you've got a second CMS about tea, uh, you could call it tea underscore. If not, you just uh, leave the randomly assigned um, prefix and it's extremely unlikely that the same prefix will be assigned again. But just in case there is already a table like that, what do you want to do? Do you want to get rid of it? Do you want to back it up? So just leave that on back up. Okay, and this is something fairly new. This didn't exist in the old versions of Joomla. So it basically tells me I need to prove I'm the owner of the website. I should delete this kind of file in the installation folder. So I'm going to start FileZilla. Go to my folder. I go to the installation folder and I delete that file. Delete. OK, 
Okay, it should be gone now. I click on next. Okay. <clears throat> if you just want to practice, you can install the sample data. Uh, if you want to start from scratch and set up a proper website, don't install sample data. It's really up to you. Um, I think you learn most if you don't install sample data. But of course, if you want to see how, how a CMS that's already populated with information, how that works, install some of the sample data. Yeah. <clears throat> On the first screen, you were asked to create a username and a password. Now, if other users forget their username and their password, they can ask for this password to be reset by the system. But you, as the super user, you can't do that. So it might be worth getting an email with the configuration and include the password in the email. And that way, you're sure that if you forget uh, the password, you can look it up. Unless things have changed in the latest version, uh, you've got a problem if you forget the password. The, uh, the passwords are stored in an encrypted format. Uh, they're probably also salted. So if you ever forget your password, the only way is you go into the database and you override your, your, your password with a standard password. So make sure you don't forget your password by clicking yes here. Okay, everything's fine. Click install. The system is being installed. And here we are. I, I remove the installation folder by clicking here. And I now open the front end and the back end in two different tabs. So let's wait a moment. So here's what our visitors see. No, nothing here at the moment. And here's the back end. Let's log on. <clears throat> yeah, here we are. Now I can manage the system from here. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.